Okay, so it's been a couple of days earlier this week, Apple released iOS 16.3.1. Now, as per usual, I always like to come back and share with you guys my follow-up experience with the software, talk about any bug fixes, improvements, performance, battery, and everything else in between. So let's just dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, the first thing I would like to talk about is, of course, aside from iOS 16.3.1, Apple has also updated the Apple Watch with watchOS 9.3.1 to improve crash detection. So crash detection optimizations for Apple Watch was released as well. And the first thing I would like to talk about in regards to new fixes is the new HomePod. So the HomePod OS 16.3.2 was also released alongside iOS 16.3.1 to address a few issues with HomePod and C Siri commands cutting off when you first initially ask Siri to do something. So if you would ask your HomePod or your iPhone to do something in your automations or using the HomeKit or anything like that, the first command using the custom command for Siri would cut off with timeout and would not proceed to doing what it is that you asked to do. Well, that doesn't look to be the case here on the latest iOS 16.3.1 and the latest HomePod OS 16.3.2, which I'm happy to report. Now, Apple is still working on additional fixes for HomeKit, which should be coming with later software updates. But so far, some of the issues that Apple has looked to address with 16.3.1 and HomePod OS 16.3.2 seem to be working on the latest update, which I'm happy to report. And now, the Next thing I would like to talk about is AirPods. Now, some of you guys continue to report a few issues with your AirPods, specifically when you pop the case open. If your AirPods do have charge, sometimes your iPhone would show that your AirPods do not have charge, which is kind of annoying. It's been a bug for quite some time, although I haven't encountered this issue on the latest 16.3.1 and the latest firmware update for AirPods. I would like to hear from you in those comments down below. Have you encountered this issue where your iPhone would show that your AirPods do not have charge when they really do because I haven't encountered the issue ever since the latest update for the firmware on the AirPods, which by the way, I do have a video on. You can check that out. Links will be in the description as well. Now, initially when Apple released iOS 16.3.1 earlier this week, there was an issue where Google Photos was just crashing for many users. That is why I always recommend right after you update your iPhone that you go into the App Store and then you go into your avatar. And even if you have automatic app updates enabled, make sure you check for updates and update any application they may need update because many users reported a lot of users actually reported that Google Photos was simply crashing and not working on 16.3.1. However, Google did update Google Photos so right now you can head on over to the App Store and download it. It will be working for you. If you did delete it, you can go ahead and uh, go ahead and download it again or just look for update and you can go ahead and get it back up and working for you. Now, a few things and a few issues that many users reported were Wi-Fi connection issues. I'm happy to report that at least on the latest 16.3.1 since have been released for about three days as to the filming of this video. Wi-Fi connection has been a little more persistent. I haven't seen uh, Wi-Fi drop as much as it did before with 16.3, so I'm happy to report that. Another issue was with iPhone storage. Now, many of you guys continue to report that the iPhone storage may appear full when it really wasn't. So, of course, this is a bug. I haven't encountered this issue so far on 16.3.1, which I'm happy to report. But as always, I would like to hear from you in those comments down below. Does your iPhone prompt you that the storage is full when you really do have storage left over. Let me know in those comments down below. Now, and last but not least, I would like to talk about the battery. Now, I need more time to test the battery thoroughly, but over the past several days using iOS 16.3.1, I have to say that I've seen improvement overall with the battery performance. Slight improvement, but yes, there is a slight improvement for the battery on 16.3.1. And basically, the software, yeah, does address a few bugs and issues here, but we're still looking forward to additional features with future software for update like 16.4, which we're hoping to see in the next month or two before Apple starts working and pushing all their resources towards iOS 17, which is expected the first beta in about four and a half to five months from now. So yeah, right now it looks like iOS 16.3.1 is an okay software update right now. So if you were looking to update, yeah, definitely it is one to update too. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoy this follow-up and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.